paddock on the field. So. Wasn't it tick you off when they raise your ticket price, though? You know, you're a season ticket holder, and you're up in the nosebleed, and you, they, they raise it two bucks. They haven't done anything, and they raise it two bucks. Why do you think they're raising it two bucks? They, they're yeah, going to make their profit. They've been real good to the season ticket holders. I'll, I'll give them that. They've been real good. Um, they've, they've kept the season ticket prices the same since I've been uh, with them. This will be my sixth year. Uh, but I don't understand their philosophy of continuing to raise prices across the board. I, I don't think they've announced their prices for next year, but I've seen uh, some. I think their prices may have been leaked, and they are going up like a dollar, which still, that's a dollar. And, and it's hard to sell that even in any part of the ballpark when you're saying that we're not going to put a winning product on the field, basically, but we want you to pay more money. And how is that going to encourage people to go to the more people to go to the games than did last year when so many fewer people went to games last year than they did the year before when they were just as bad? So I don't know. I want the Rangers to spend some money and to get some people to come to Texas, and I'm willing for them to take a gamble on Ben Sheets to come to Texas, but. They haven't even made an offer on them, but I'd like them to see them spend some money on on them. And and I would think that me, along with other season ticket holders and other hardcore Ranger fans, will look at that and go, hey, you know what, I might go to an extra game or two just because they're showing that they're concerned about trying to put a decent product on the field that that the, the fans should, you know, say, hey, you know, I'm willing to pay a little bit for this product just to see what they got. But they're, they're putting a, a, a 4A team on the field right now, I think. Well, and Elwood in there, Chuck makes a good point that if the fans stop going, then the, then the prices will down, go down. Well, it's obviously supply and demand. One last thing on this topic, I want to go back to Napper, because Napper brings up a good point, and it's something that I, I did want to get into a little bit about the compensation, because I, I think I think Napper, a lot of people aren't aware that these teams do get some compensation, whether um, it's via draft pick or, or whatnot, and we've seen when teams get compensated or have high draft picks, you know, a la the, the Tampa Bay Rays, when you start getting a lot of those young picks and, and working them through your system and you can hang on to them for a certain period of time before they go out in the free agent world, even the Minnesota Twins to a certain extent, because of all the free agents that they've lost, all the draft picks that they've gotten, and, you know, we've been, we've been you know, we've always uh, praised the Minnesota Twins organization because of what they've been able to do with their minor leagues, and I, and I think that's an excellent point about, about the compensation that I don't think a lot of people understand. Wouldn't you agree with that, Napper? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think the, uh, I don't think the casual fan quite understands the, the impact of these uh, compensation draft picks. Um, the Indians have got several over the years, and, and, and unfortunately the Indians haven't been able to capitalize on it because their you know, they're, they're draft, they're drafting over the past 15 years is just abysmal. But, um, I mean, the Indians, like all, you know, when the Indians fell apart last year in June and it was uh, a slam dunk day, okay, we weren't going to be able to sign, uh, re-sign Sabathia. Part of the deal was, I mean, a lot of the rumors were that, uh, you know, are we going to keep CC just so that we get the extra draft pick that we'll get, you know, when someone signs him away for us? Or are we going to trade him and then we also are getting rid of that draft pick? Um but yeah, these these teams like the Twins and you know the smaller market teams that they uh, they develop all these you know players and then when it you know when it's time for the, them to be free agents or they hit arbitration they can't sign them then they get these draft picks you know and if you have a good uh, draft selection you know your uh, you know or your organization can turn around um, uh, eventually so. Um, you know, the Yankees obviously don't care about their minor league system. They just go out and buy whoever they whoever they want, and that's fine. But, I mean, people should also realize, I mean, hardcore baseball fans should also realize they are losing draft picks every free agent they sign. They are losing draft picks and giving those draft picks to their competitors. Tim Kuda, MILBradio.com, be back here in just a minute. <laughs> 